So I'm so excited. Um, I can't believe how close we are. We're like almost at the halfway point of this coaster uh, in terms of construction. It's absolutely insane. Um, but to go off of what we're seeing on the screen right now, let's get back on topic or let's get to the topic. The video just started. We have track in the storage lot. As you can see, the vertical loop is there. The zero G roll or negative G roll is what Wonderland's calling it is in there. Support beams galore are arriving in there. And there's track pieces inside the park along with support beams inside the park and ready to go. Whatever's going on with Behemoth is still there at the base of the drop. I have no idea what it's for, but it is definitely a machine that scans for cracks or... Um, problems with steel track they do this on all the coasters so it doesn't mean anything but it is still in the same spot so maybe they just can't get it going <laughs> maybe it is the sledgehammer of machinery who knows but as you can see they are heading on into the zero g roll or negative g roll whatever it's called um which is awesome. This thing's going to take form maybe tomorrow or early next week. They have the support beams down there ready to go. So, I mean, we could see this thing going up tomorrow, which is absolutely insane. Honestly, seeing the coaster once the zero G roll is done is going to put such a perspective on this thing. I just love the curvature of Yukon Striker in itself. Seeing it in person is impressive. This thing has got curves for days like it just has nice transitions it's going to be fabulous i cannot wait um and uh it's just something i'm really excited about it is again really close to my heart i love this coaster everything about it is fantastic anyone who knows me knows that i am not your typical enthusiast i love dive coasters i absolutely love them i've been on two i've been on shikra and i've been on um val raven i love them a lot I have nothing bad to say about them. I understand they're one-trick ponies, but one-trick ponies don't necessarily mean it's a bad coaster. Um, so <laughs> I'm excited. It's unique. It's a dive coaster, so I love it. Um, but yeah, again, nothing going on in the stationary. There is one part in the video where there's some really weird activity going on in the stationary. I'm going to use a green arrow to highlight that for you guys because there's like 20 or something construction workers all moving around really quickly. Um, so... Um, yeah, that was different. Uh, I'll show you guys that. I don't know what they were doing. I'm, I looked very closely. Oh. I'm actually like looking on the screen right now, and it looks like they're building a building. They, they've started the station! So, I can't tell for sure, but it looks like they're starting the foundation for the station out near the thing. I actually almost see, like, woodwork. Uh, I, I'm going to analyze that a little closer. I'm trying to, like, make the video right now. Um, again, yeah, I definitely looks like woodwork is starting down near the station. I did not see, I I also watched this video once today too. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to start watching it in case there is, um, they're starting. That definitely looks like the start of the station. That is definitely woodwork up. Um, again, there, the mine shaft for the station is being built. So the station's going to look like a mine shaft. It's going to have TNT. It's going to have little explosive things. So, um, that's awesome. So that's definitely... Um, that's cool. I can see that. That's definitely the formation of a building. That's sick. So that that makes sense now is why there were so many construction workers down there. That must be that new team that has finally come in to build that. Because um, we know Wonderland was late in getting that contract out for the station and the theming for Frontier Canada. So that's awesome. We have something else to watch now in terms of construction. Yay! <laughs> um, as you can tell, I'm super excited that there's uh, starting something starting for Frontier Canada. Couldn't be more thrilled. Um, but this thing is impressive. You can see, like, from the drone footage, this thing doesn't look as tall. The zero G roll, just it at its current point, you can see it from the highway. That little thing, and it's not even at the top port part of the zero G roll, you can see it from the highway. This thing is tall. Um, it keeps its height. So, again, for those asking if this thing's going to be open during Winterfest, there's no way. It is, um, it's very high. Um, so its transition in speed is going to be very low. So add cold weather, it just wouldn't make it through the layout. Um, this thing will not be open. 
for Winterfest. I can even probably guarantee that without asking. I'll ask next time at the park for the behind the scenes tour. The answer will probably be 100% no. Um, you can just tell by the high points of the ride, like from drop to Immelman, Immelman to zero G, the vertical loop. There's no way this thing would make it through its layout with uh, snow and cold added in. Um, I just wanted to answer that because a couple of people were asking me that. There's no way. Um, yes. So I wanted to I wanted to let you guys know I'm keeping an eye on that area right there near Kingswood. There used to be a tent there. Um, not that tent. There used to be an events tent that they used for Halloween Haunt. And then Halloween Haunt Maze was in there. And then also in that Kingswood Theater. Um, this year there was not one. The rumor is that there could be a bar being built back there. A full service bar. So I'm keeping an eye on that because I want to see if that forms or transitions into anything that I've been hearing rumor-wise um, about building going on there. I've also heard, you know, rumors of potential restaurant renovations. Uh, for example, Backlot is rumored to be getting a renovation. Who knows if that'll happen. Um, but yeah, keeping an eye on those areas uh, and keeping an eye on Mindbuster, keeping an eye on Friends of Canada um and uh dinosaurs all alive there's a lot to watch at wonderland right now again we heard matt we last year make statements that wonderland was going to be receiving a lot of investments um and we at the ace event got kind of confirmation that wonderland was going to be moving forward with a lot of investments in frontier canada was kind of just like the first step or middle step i think is how they worded it, it started with uh, soaring timbers uh so who knows what's to come next we'll be keeping an eye on a lot it just makes sense the canadian market is taking off with the Toronto right there. They're building a hotel. And usually when you see a hotel, investments follow to keep guests booking for the first little bit. They usually have a promise they need to keep in terms of investments when they build them. So something like a hotel, you see it at Cedar Point, they have to make sure guests are booking rooms. Um, so yes, I can't wait again. I wish Winterfest was coming this year. I'm so sad um, that I won't be in the park uh, filming for Winterfest. I'm really thinking about driving out to Kings Island to go to their Winterfest to kind of show you guys what to expect for a video. So uh, definitely comment down below if you think I should head to Kings Island Winterfest to show you guys what we could be looking at. Anyways, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this construction update. I'm so excited um, for the Zero G roll. Hopefully you guys are too. Smash that like button, share this video for others to enjoy, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 10k. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.